Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Alexa and if you are new and if you enjoy the content that you will see on this channel, please click the like button and subscribe and hit the bell button so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Okay, our item for today is extremely important. It's something that is going to change your life. And I know you have heard this before, but I assure you that this is something that I tried. These are facts, are scientific facts that I experimented with myself and I'm delivering living proof that this works, okay? But before I start telling you the steps that I've done to change completely my life, I'm going to tell you that I was totally programmed. My life was a movie and I wasn't the one that has written this script. Everything would happen to me. I thought the universe has something with me. I thought it's the karma. I didn't understand why all these things happen and what I have to do to change my life. I tried everything, something some things have worked but some very little and in the end I arrived to this information and this is something that I want to share with you because it's extremely important it's going to change your life it's going to change the life of your family of your children of everyone around you so keep watching this The mind. The mind has two parts. The subconscious mind and the conscious mind. The subconscious mind is the original brain. This original brain is a habitual brain. Is It can process 40 million bits per second of data taken or taken from environment. So this is a very high-end processor. Think about this, 40 million bits per second. This is extremely powerful. But there is a thing with this subconscious mind. It can only play back the things that it has learned. So, um, what it has learned from the last trimester of pregnancy when you were in the womb of your mother until the age of seven that's the period of time that the subconscious mind is under a state in a theta state or in a hypnosis state and everything that surrounds you when you are uh, from from zero to seven will get into your subconscious mind and you will be programmed for a lifetime and everything you take you see uh, in your environment in your family everything you see around you you you're going to take inside of yourself as your own beliefs as your own desires as your own program let's talk about the conscious mind the self or the conscious mind is an option something that came with the evolution of the humankind and this option is not accessed by everyone everyone we have everyone has this option but not everyone exercise this conscious mind this conscious mind it can process only about 40 40 bits per second 40 bits of data per second so you see the difference we have the subconscious mind is very quick very fast with 40 million bits per second and we have the conscious mind that is very slow is very slow and is very small with 40 bits per second in, the, uh, in evolution, this conscious mind, the prefrontal cortex, gives this rise to consciousness. It's a small piece of brain that gives us consciousness. So, 
after knowing all this information I want you to understand what's the difference between the subconscious mind and the conscious mind. Let's see. Why, for example, when you are in a crisis or you have um, stress in your life, there is um, some situation that is extremely stressful. Why, when you are in this um, emergency or crisis, you operate from your subconscious mind and not your conscious mind because the subconscious mind can operate fast and lots of data so this is why when you react in a stressful situation you react for, from your programming from your subconscious mind from your beliefs or the beliefs that you have taken when you were a child. You see how everything works and it's really interesting because once you understand this, it's so easy to unlock everything. It's so easy. This is why education and information is extremely important. Okay, so according to the cognitive neuroscientist, um, we are conscious of only about 95% of our cognitive activity. Some may say 95, but others may even go to 99%. So, therefore, 95% 90, to 90, 99% of your lives comes from your programming, your subconscious mind. I'm going to repeat this. 95% to 99% of your life comes from your programming of your subconscious mind. If you have negative programming, as I did, as most of us have, 95% of the day will create that in your life. So you will have negativity in your life and you will be surrounded by experience and people that are negative and that just are playing this role in this program of yours. So where your focus goes, you can control, you can change the program. This is what being conscious means. So most of your day, if you are thinking about the future, about how everything will be, or if you are worried, or if you uh, remind of your past, this is your subconscious mind. And you are not being in the moment, you are not focusing on the present moment. So your conscious mind uh, is not going to um, work together with your subconscious mind or the conscious mind is not going to be able to rewrite and control the subconscious mind. So, every day, if you are not in the present moment, if you are not focusing of, of uh, this moment in time, this exactly this moment, your mind or your conscious mind uh, will not be able to change the program and to take control of the subconscious mind. So let's see, what happens when your conscious mind cannot pay attention and is distracted? and it cannot be in this moment right now. You are going to play the programs that you personally don't want. So you may say, I want to be happy. But if your program is not being happy, being sad and depressed, you are not going to be happy. It's very hard to take a small power like, sub, like conscious mind 
or a small pr processor like the conscious mind to override or to overcome a, a processor like subconscious mind that is extremely powerful you will need to use something that is called will power you get it this is everything will connect you'll have this aha moment in your mind so this is why we need this willpower we need the willpower so we can override the old programming i'm going now i'm going to tell you easy ways and easy steps you can do and there are some other scientifically proved techniques that you can do to reprogram your subconscious mind one we talk about this is be conscious so you don't play the program and this is extremely easy once you understand what's the program you keep uh, <laughs> playing for example a pattern that you may have taken when you are a child if if there is a recurrent team in your family or in your genealogy if there is like something like I don't I'm giving an example let's say like um, your grandmother her marriage your mother was uh, even her she is like extremely lucky she didn't find love and you think you are on the same path and you have the same program you see the same pattern and you can change it because now you know what the program is you know what the pattern is and by having this understanding and this focus you can change it another step you can do and this works amazing i have this is the technique that i had the most amazing results is hypnotherapy and i'm talking about clinical hypnotherapy because it puts you back in the same brain state you were in the learning period so you can rewrite your brain and uh, here I'm going to include a hypnosis or auto hypnosis because this is something that I've done you can actually just put your headphones before you go to sleep and listen to auto hypnosis and just calm your mind and focusing on your body and you can start uh, telling yourself what you want to take in what's the belief you want to uh, absorb or the new belief you, you want to absorb the new program you can also try like um, a new language to learn a new language because when you go to sleep you are in that state of hypnosis state so everything you will listen when you go to sleep is extremely important to be information that is positive and that is something you want to learn and you want to absorb in your brain okay so no other stuff no sleeping with the tv on or something like that very careful what technological information you absorb or what information you absorb and other met methods of reprogramming your mind are um, holographic repatterning. Okay, then you, you can write down, you'll have everything written in the comments. Body talk, and this is extremely important, this really works. EMDR, EMDR, EFT, and this is something that I practice and I practice with my in my coaching session It's called emotional freedom tapping and I highly suggest you looked into it and psychic K. Okay Another thing that you can do and these are simple 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 steps You can start doing today and start taking today is the repetition or uh, having a practice or a, um, a habitua a habituation and this works why remember when you were a child and you had to uh, learn how to uh, ride a bicycle so in order for you to ride a bicycle you learn and you practice 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 and now you can ride a bicycle without any practice or any exercise how you get proficient uh, <laughs> you have to practice and you have to exercise and this is where the willpower comes into play and this is extremely important to have this willpower and this uh, determination and practicing and creating a new uh, new habits that are healthy and that are conscious taken so you want this habit too you want to have this healthy habit 
Another thing is the belief change modality or the super learning. And you can also find more about this, just Google. Okay. So all these things are um, written in the book, The Biology of Belief by Dr. Bruce Lipton. I highly suggest you read all the books by Dr. Bruce Lipton. He's amazing. Uh, the other book that I recommend is The Honeymoon Effect, The Science of Creating Heaven on Earth. I'm, I'm going to talk a little bit about this honeymoon effect because this is another technique that Dr. Bruce Lipton suggests is extremely useful uh, in uh, repatterning your brain. It's about falling in love with someone, falling in love with you, falling in love with something, a passion, a desire, having a wish and everything will change in your life and you'll have this holiday life because everything will, will become so much easier and you'll be so much happier and you can reduce the stress. And the last thing that I want to say, and this is very important, is the use of the affirmation, especially before going to sleep or when you wake up, because this is um, this moment is your mind is extremely focused, your conscious mind is awakened, and you can awaken and you can speak to it. So you can reprogram the subconscious mind by using positive affirmation and you can fake it until you make it. Even though everything around you seems really negative and you're not satisfied with the life you have, you can fake it until you, your life will have to match your belief. Your reality will have to match your belief. So if you say, I'm happy, if you write, because written, write, if you write down, is extremely important. This is also another way how you can reprogram your mind. If you write down, I'm a happy person, I'm a grateful person, I'm happy, uh, I'm happy with my life, I love myself, and if you write down this positive affirmation is, and you keep bombarding your mind with this positive affirmation, in the end, your reality will have to match your belief. So even though if at the beginning you didn't believe that you are happy, in the end you'll have to believe that you are happy and guess what? You'll become a happier person. Another thing that I want to mention and this comes from my own experience and I think it's very important is to change your environment and change the people that surround you. If you, the environment is negative, if you don't like your job, if people that surround you are negative people and they don't support you and they don't believe in you, I think it's time for you to make a change. And once you get out of the comfort zone, it can be extremely uh, weird. It's a weird sensation. It can be scary, but keep in mind the willpower is the thing that really change your it can change your life so having this uh, willpower having this determination to change your life you can move you can quit your job go to another country traveling helped me a lot meet new people make new relationship new, new connection and I think this is going to help you because if you keep doing the same things and if you keep surrounding yourself by the same person you will have the same program you'll have the same results you'll have the same life okay that's all thank you so much for watching i really hope this video helps you and if you find this information useful don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the bell button so you'll be notified when i upload new videos i am extremely grateful that i can share this information with you i'm just a messenger but if you want really to change your life you are the one that have to act according to this in your own way and let me know down in the comments uh, what was the step that really helped you or what steps that you've taken and you find that are the most useful and yeah that's all thank you so much bye